Let's talk about viscosity, a property of fluids that affects how they flow. Viscosity is basically a measure of how thick or sticky a fluid is, and it plays a big role in how fast or slow that fluid moves. Today we're going to explore what viscosity is, what factors affect it, and how different fluids compare when it comes to their viscosity. So, what exactly is viscosity? Imagine you're pouring honey in water. Honey flows much more slowly than water because it's thicker. This means it has a higher viscosity. Water, on the other hand, flows quickly because it's thinner. It has a lower viscosity. In simple terms, viscosity is the resistance a fluid has to flowing. The higher the viscosity, the more slowly it moves. The lower the viscosity, the faster it flows. Now, there are a few key factors that affect the viscosity of a fluid. Temperature is one of the biggest. When you heat up a fluid, its viscosity usually decreases. That's why honey flows more easily when it's warm and becomes thicker when it cools down. Heat makes the particles in the fluid move faster and spread apart, making it easier for them to slide past each other. Cold fluids, on the other hand, have higher viscosity because the particles are moving more slowly and stick closer together. Another factor that affects viscosity is the composition of the fluid. Fluids made up of large, complex molecules tend to have higher viscosity than fluids made of smaller, simpler molecules. For example, motor oil has a higher viscosity than water because the oil molecules are bigger and more complex, which makes them stick together more, slowing down their flow. We can also measure the viscosity of a fluid by looking at its volumetric flow rate which is a fancy way of saying how much fluid flows through a space over a certain amount of time. Think of it like this. If you have two funnels, one with water and one with honey, and you pour them through the funnels at the same time, the water will flow out much faster. Water has a higher flow rate because its viscosity is low, while honey, with its higher viscosity, has a much lower flow rate. Let's compare the viscosity of some everyday fluids. As we've said, water is a classic example of a fluid with low viscosity. It flows easily and quickly. And honey, as we've already talked about, has a much higher viscosity because it's thick and sticky, so it flows slowly. Motor oil has a medium viscosity, thicker than water, but not as thick as honey. Then there's molasses, which has a super high viscosity and flows very slowly, especially when it's cold. Each of these fluids has a different flow rate, which is directly related to its viscosity. So, what's the big picture? Viscosity is the measure of how easily a fluid flows. The factors that affect viscosity include temperature, warmer fluids have lower viscosity and flow faster, while cooler fluids have higher viscosity and flow slower. The size and complexity of the molecules in the fluid also play a role in how thick or thin it is. By comparing the viscosity of different fluids, we can understand how fast they'll move in various situations, like honey dripping slowly off a spoon or water rushing quickly from a faucet. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you see a fluid flowing, think about its viscosity and how factors like temperature and composition are affecting how quickly or slowly it moves.